What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we're doing another Pokemon Mail Day. Uh, so just a bunch of stuff I've been picking up over the past couple months, and it's really starting to pile up, so I just grab a couple piles in there. Let's make a quick video. Uh, we have a bunch of graded, a few raw, and we're starting off with a TGA card. So almost every, most of it is either TGA, actually I think most of it's CGC with occasional PSA, and I've been mentioning this a lot. Um, you know, you can get the same card, um, you know, but much cheaper if it happens to be graded TGA, CGC, and if it is like 9.5, I think you have a very reasonable chance for that to be the same card quality um, as a PSA 10. So I feel like these are just good, good pickups for the card, not necessarily, you know, what it'll be worth, you know, in a year or two, but all these cards, I think almost all of them were probably picked up for about like $20. I'm pretty sure nothing was picked up for over $50. Um, and right now, just great. It's a lot of fun to buy. If you have like an occasional weekly budget of, you know, X dollars that you spend on like buying something at Target or Walmart to open, um, I recommend just try it for a week or two. You know, all right, instead of buying this sealed product for $20, instead I'm going to buy one graded card off eBay and then um you know i bet i bet that'll be pretty uh it might you might get hooked on it and just change your strategy of buying singles versus sealed product but all right let's get back into the cards so we're starting off with a pokemon center lady uh to me this is sorry this is this is nurse joy right and then um so i just looked up on google like oh yep uh, she the hair is slightly different and then i remembered like oh wait you know nurse joy was kind of weird they had like her clones like <laughs> every pokemon center um so it reminded me, oh, there were some weird aspects to the Pokemon story. Um, all right, next we got some birds. And um, so I mentioned this a lot. I feel like this is one of the, as far as modern promos go, one of my favorites. Uh, when I think about modern collecting, I imagine I'm not alone where Hidden Fates was just the most fun I've ever had with a modern set. And this promo, as far as like these special sets, you know, when we go to like Dragon's Majesty was just a Naganadal. E, the EVV Max for Shining uh, Shining Fates, um, you know, even like Shining Legends, the Moltres, and I'm not sure if there was one for Generations or not, uh, but this is by far the best promo in my opinion, and when it's like, okay, you can pick up a Gem Mint version, which I do think this would get a PSA 10 uh, for like $25 shipped, um, for me that's all day, I think like 9 was maybe like $20. Just a hair under twenty dollars shipped, so happy to pick those up. Um, and just picking up these random secret rares. Uh, you know, if you compare it to this, if you grab a box of Vivid Voltage, for all you might have to show for the box is just this card, and then to get it graded, um, confirmed that it's quote unquote gem mint for like twenty dollars. <laughs> A uh, great deal in my opinion and you know I think CGC is a great or TGAA probably more CGC is great to pick up you know just like you know the tag teams are just very unique even if they're the base arts and I feel like you can get them for really cheap uh, then yeah these miscellaneous secret rares you know all the rainbow or yeah rainbows um, you know rainbow is just not that popular and you know it refl reflects that in the prices here we have a pretty cool Mew. Uh, I don't really collect Pop Series, but I thought this was a pretty cool art. And uh, definitely don't, something I don't have from 2006, so pretty old. And happy to add that. Then we got some Black Star Promos Pikachu. So starting with the, actually, so we do have some two random PSA cards, Near Mint 7s for two Pikachu promos. Then here's that same. So kind of like, I don't remember, but I bet these two cards cost about the same amount. And yep, so PSA definitely holds more value. Um, but, you know, at least I'm starting to build out my CGC collection. Maybe a lot of other people do it. And maybe that becomes a, you know, not the ideal standard. Kind of like how I view Beckett or I prefer PSA, but I'll take it in Beckett or BGS. And so maybe like this becomes another standard, especially for like modern cards. Uh, here we have a Shiny Fates Eternatus. My comment for anything Eternatus is... Man, Pokemon, they really push certain things. Like, certain things always work. Evolutions, uh, Evolution Alts are always a home run. Almost always a home run. But then when they just print Zacia and Zamazenta to the ground, they, they're Eternaeus. And it's like always the same art, just different version of the same card. Uh, I, I, I just, this guy's just so diluted. I feel like the same things happen with their Shifu, where it's like, you know, Urshifu hasn't proven himself to be a cool Pokemon, and there's so many versions of that guy. 
All right, then we got two other Japanese promos. I think these are just like common cards in the English sets. Um, but yeah, not, don't, don't know too much about the Pika Pika Pikachu campaign, but we have them in the collection. All right, let's grab some raw cards real quick. I'm pretty sure all of these were picked up on whatnot, I'm guessing. And like, this is just like the, the one at auction. Uh, so nice rainbow Elisa. Yeah, very cool, right, go. I just don't know too much about this. Oh, it seems like a heart gold soul silver promo, but pretty cool. This ho, oh, I believe is the Shining Legends premium, super premium box, uh, which, you know, just to get the box right now, it's absurd amount of money. So happy to have that promo or another one of those promos, a random Toys R Us promo. And all right, I guess some of the stuff I bought from whatnot was from Pokebu Pokemon Butler. <laughs> And let's see, just, I don't know, some, I think some of these were one of the streams where it's like, these are binder cards. They are mod play or worse. And you can kind of see like, even in a hard case, like the, the case is, um, you know, bent. Uh, this is uh, bent right down. I think I probably picked up this like $30. It's like, hey, you know what's a dark Charizard? Um, I can just display this. It's nostalgic for me. I'll take it. And uh, just some Kabutops, very cool Delta species. And then some more stuff, Legendary Collection, Dark Raichu. So again, most of these, you know, I mean, especially this one, uh, but just cool vintage cards to fill out any binder and shadowless binder. And like, oh my gosh, you can see, uh, I think it's super bent. Don't know what this is. And then a very cool Alakazam from Expedition, I think. And then a Dark Porygon. All right, let's grab another stack of CGC slabs. So actually, yeah, I, I encourage you to try that if you, let's say you just buy like one sealed product to open just for fun. And I agree that's a lot of fun. Uh, try a different route, same budget, and just pick up a CGC card instead. Um, whatever, you know, really hits the nostalgic feels for me, anything base set or vintage like that. Um, I just like to have it. Like, will it go up in price? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, I'm happy. Um, and just try that for a couple weeks, see how it feels. Let's keep going. All right, we got a Moltres, very nice, but it is a non-hollow, 8.5. And then a Charmander. So um, i guessing, actually this might've been eBay, but you know, all right, we'll start collecting some base starters, um, like some of these common cards, but we're not definitely not gonna go target PSA 10. We'll go with one of these side grading companies and doesn't need to be gem mint. Okay, don't remember how much this costs, but I just like this art. I feel like this is a very cool Dragonite. And I love this era when you can see the texturing with your blind eye. Um, so, I don't, the grade, you know, as long as I'm like above an eight, happy to add it to the collection. Base sets by like, I probably have the most of vintage sets graded. I probably have more base set than anything else, base set unlimited. Uh, and I don't think I have all the CGC yet. Oh no, I definitely don't, and hopefully eventually we do that. Picked up a Rainbow Kabu. This one is, it does have the pristine 10, so that's kind of nice. I mean, it's not exactly the full arts of order. <laughs> that is like chased by any means, but hey, we'll add a 10. I don't really get why, they, I think there's different 10s. I'm not sure if there's like a perfect, but like this one is, I don't know, shaded yellow, which I find kind of strange. Okay, then we got 9.5 Piers from Champion's Path. A random gold cape of toughness. Yeah, I just like having just like miscellaneous secret rares and yeah, again, you can get them super cheap, especially if it's like not PSA 10, even CGC 9.5. Um, these amazing rares are so cheap. You can pick up a, like a set of all of them. Like for, yeah, less than the cost to grade the cards. Kramer and V, obviously this was a promo. So when it's nine, not even gem mint, oh, probably like less than $10. All right, we got another stack. It's over here. What do we have here? A very cool, very poor quality uh, card. <laughs> uh, Supreme Victors. And I think I first saw these in Japanese. I was like for some promos for some kind of airline. I thought that was really cool. I realized there was an English printing. I think the Japanese one wasn't even, oof, wasn't even hollow. Uh, so I feel like if I were to collect all these, it would be nice, make a nice kind of like wall display thing. Um, I don't care if it's low grade. Kind of similar vein, uh, the no symbol. I don't think I have all of no symbol in any grade. 
And if I, I, I feel like one, this is probably one that I would consider breaking out and putting in a binder if I did have all the, the rest of the no symbol set. And it's like, well, here's the pincer. Uh, I would just bust that out. I don't remember this cost, but it was probably, I don't know, maybe like less than $15. Um, yeah, again, Zacian, uh, I feel like his pop, they, they, the amount that they printed compared to his popularity uh, was just overprinted. <laughs> There's so many variants of this card, um, but I like this one, so definitely happy to pick it up. Another Seager Rare, we got the Colossal. Uh, you know, of the new gen Pokemon, Colossal is actually pretty cool. All right, last of the stacks, we got a Scent of Scorch V Max. Uh, Shining Fates, probably I'll cl collect the set eventually, probably CGC. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm not too picky about gem mint versus mint. Um, and, like, actually, just anything Shining Fates that's not sealed is so cheap. Uh, nice Charmander, I believe this is, yeah, the one pack blister, and I do like this, um, I'm not sure, oh, Cosmos holo pattern, that's a very solid Charmander art. A random beauty from Vivid Voltage, rainbow, and yeah, more Shining Fate stuff. Any, any full art supporter, you know, I'll pick up for whatever, $15, doesn't need to be gem mint. Anything super vintage, like jungle. All day, PS or CGC eight, no problem. The ditto, another shining fates, another pincer. This one is unlimited. Hidden fates, uh, hidden fates CGC collection. Probably not anytime. C uh, hidden fates is one that I will complete PSA uh, nine slash ten. Probably almost there. Professor Sycamore, and then some more, just full art supporters, and ending off with a Dragapult V Shiny. This is one of the promos from the premium collection. And um, yeah, so again, nothing special. Everything, um, my guess is on average, across all these cards was less than $20, maybe a little bit more after shipping. And um, yeah, in summary, guys, if, if you purchase like one product a month, a week, whatever it may be, um, take one of those cycles, pick, pick up a CGC card, um, and just see how you feel like, you know, all right, which, which of those was more enjoyable, uh, in the moment and kind of like long-term adding to your collection. I think this is the way to go, to be honest. So, um, yeah, that's all for me today. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are about that strategy. And thanks for watching. I'm Juana Turtle and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.